is the Venetian financial institutions. Uh, it's one of the largest and active online brokerage firm, trading firm in the region. Uh, our major activists covering online regional brokerage, asset management, investment banking, wealth management, and debt instrument. Uh, as our business is expanding, and we are targeting to provide the highest standard of service to our customers and users. And we also observe an increasing demand from our customers to make critical and time-sensitive decisions. That means uh, we have a need to build our data center and we need to find another site to move, on, move to. to. Uh, as an industrial leader, we need to build a green data center with zero downtime, which is our ultimate By leveraging the latest technology and referencing to the market best practice, of course, we need to couple up with a good business partner. We managed to build a tier 3 data center within two months. And leveraging Futisu's um, expertise on this domain know-how, uh, we completed the project successfully. Since the deployment of this new data center back to, to Sirius 9, we have an excellent record of zero downtime so far. And for instance, in Sirius 9 Christmas, we have experienced a power surge in Central Plaza, which is our head office. But uh, I'm very lucky our dealing desk, our servers, and our business operation didn't get affected at all. As we all know, all money equipment, including human being, generate heat. We make reference to PUD, which is an industrial benchmark on energy efficiency usage. Uh, our data center outperforms the average industrial center. We have a score of 1.48, which is about 80 percent uh, exceed other renders that they can provide. In addition, we also meet the requirements of LED. Uh, as a result, we have reduced the uh, electric electric bills and minimizing the heating problems. We also result uh, achieved in a substantial improvement in the manpower and uh, power efficiency and productivity. Like other major projects. Uh, we need to select a few vendors, major vendors in the industry uh, to build the project. And we also need to pass through our management committee to make the right choice. Uh, Futisu uh, impressed me during the requirement gathering stage by their professional and expertise on this domain. And also, they are very flexible uh, in terms of the data center design to fit our uh, business need. Of course, one very critical major point is they do have a very mature uh, template that makes the project run seamlessly, very smooth, and make us feel comfortable they can manage to, to fit in the two months time frame. They did uh, offer a very competitive price to us. And because uh, we already built kind of a trust business partnership since back to 2604, when we deployed our prime power server at that time. And in addition, uh, because they also help our KGI Thailand to build their data center and get our call this positive feedback. So uh, all our committee members selected Fujisu as their choice. Technically, in terms of power consumption, it reduces a lot. And uh, it also, we also observed a save of 35% of space capacity and uh, over 30% of reduced in network cabling. Uh, internally, we also reduced uh, our manpower uh, usage, or I mean overheads. And more important, of course, so far, we have record a zero downtime that uh, we, as the project's target, we can provide a solid infrastructure platform to support our business. And after all, it's our client, our user, benefit the most. I think the key considerations is really planning for what sort of data center they need. Um, one of the key considerations at the moment, and a lot of financial companies in the last 10 years or so, 
uh, have actually put their data center where their office is. And I think with the expansion of their needs and also what they want is uh, a real mission critical data center needs, they need to move out of the existing space. So we've, we're, we're seeing in the market uh, a lot of these companies moving out of um, areas like central and into more of the um, outside where there is a real data center provider to provide space for them. Uh, that's one consideration. So when you look at these, I think one thing that they need to think about is um, very much the electricity demands. Because we see actually a lot of problems is people look at space, but we see electricity as a, one of the key drivers, uh, given the fact that with high power uh, blade servers and a lot of consolidations and also cloud, they really do need uh, a big consideration on literacy. And obviously the third lead would be on the efficiency uh, of the design of the data center. So there's two aspects I think for greenness. One is the technology itself uh, readily now, uh, such as power or cable, which optimize efficiency uh, compared to 10 years or five years ago. The second, I would say, is very much around the design of the data center and how um, now using things like CFD that you can actually generate a very optimized design using computer uh, flows uh, of where the air goes. Uh, and by isolating the hot and cold aisle and moving where the air goes, you could very much achieve very high, high efficiency. The other thing we consider in our design is really separating the human part um, and the machine part by doing two things. One is not allowing people to go in unnecessary to the data and, and therefore um, leakage of air and so forth, again helping the optimization. The other one is during the maintenance period of the data center is to separate that with the actual uh, computers itself where you're then maintaining the ME equipment rather than going inside. The last advice I would give is really finding a very good partner so they can actually provide a very much turnkey solution from design to build and helping the customer implement the solution. So you really are looking for a one-stop shop to do that.